G'day, my name is Jamie and uh, I'd like to welcome you to this uh, resource, this great resource that I've put together on ECG interpretation and rhythm recognition. Uh, all of these, uh, this resource is readily available at, uh, at my website www.eadvancedhealthcare.com uh, the, the product as I said is on ECG interpretation and rhythm recognition and it's available on two, uh, two formats. It's available as a paperback and also available as an ebook. Uh, this ebook you can easily read on any device out there. You can look at it on a Kindle device. You could look at it on an iPad, on an iPhone, on an Android phone, on an Android tablet, on a general ebook reader. You can look at it on a on a on a PC, on a Mac, on a laptop, on a desktop. You name it. You can look at it on those devices, and. Uh, you can readily do that by using the uh, the free Kindle reading applications which are available on Amazon. Uh, the other great thing about the uh, ebook is that it's available at a point of care. If you have a patient that presents with a, with, a, with a cardiology background or a cardiology presentation or is just critically unwell, they're going to be on a, on a, on a heart monitor on a, and they're going to have a rhythm uh, strip. They're going to have an ECG. You're going to need to know what's going on. Um, so that's the great thing about that. You can just whip out your device and have a little scroll through and work out what's going on uh, based on the, the really high quality uh, images and uh, really simple explanations that I'll be able to give you uh, through this resource okay the great another great thing about this uh, ebook is that you can actually get it for free it won't cost you a cent and uh, you can do that by accessing it through the uh, Amazon Prime network um, so just to recap you go to my website www.eadvancedhealthcare.com and uh, just go through the links there and you'll be able to find uh, both formats of the ECG interpretation and rhythm recognition uh, resources. Um, now, why should you listen to me? What gives me authority to be able to, um, for you to <laughs> believe what I'm saying? Look, I have over 14 years of critical care experience. I, uh, I have worked in cardiothoracic centers, major tertiary cardiothoracic centers, major tertiary cardiology departments. I have worked in cardiothoracic intensive cares, general intensive cares. I've been an educator in every single one of those uh, of those places of employment. So I know what I'm talking about and uh, I can put things uh, to you and explain things to you in a really clear, concise and easy approach. So you, you will get it. I actually challenge anyone to get this resource and not to be able to understand it. It's, uh, it is actually that simple. People make it so confusing. They put terminology in there to confuse you and it's just unnecessary. My way of understanding it is that when educators use that jargon, the, 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 the things that are going to baffle you, it, it, it gives me a makes me think that they don't understand it very well themselves and, and, and there's no need for that. We can give you terminology, we can give you jargon, uh, but it's not going to help your understanding. So I'm going to put it to you really simply. Okay, now um, why do you need this? Look, this is a fundamental skill that any person that is critically unwell that presents um, to a healthcare facility um, will be on a, on, a, on a heart monitor. They will have an ECG, they will certainly be having rhythm strips done. And, 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 and things like that. It's a, it's a fundamental skill. It will be able to give you treatment recommendations and it will also enhance your professionalism and will um, just just by being more advanced you, you, you increase your chances of, uh, of promotion and, 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 and of furthering your career. Uh, and, and, and you can also be an educator for others. When you get this resource you'll be able to see that it is actually really easy <laughs> and uh, it's going to be something you can grasp really easily and you can then educate others around you. And, uh, and, and hopefully with that, tell them about this resource and get them in, uh, involved in this resource. Get them to own this resource. This is, this is a great opportunity for you to, uh, to extend your knowledge, your professionalism and to in, enhance your patient's care. Um, so let's go into the product a little bit. Um, so the product is split up into two sections. We have the first section of rhythm recognition and the second section of ECG interpretation. So with the rhythms, we go into the sinus rhythm, 
the normal sinus rhythm, the sinus bradycardia, the sinus tachycardia, the atrial fibrillations, the atrial flutters. We talk about the ectopics and or extrasystoles, both atrial and ventricular, monifocal, unifocal, and polymorphic or multifocal. Uh, they're the ectopics or the extrasystoles, whatever you would uh, like to call them. We talk about bigeminy, trigeminy, SVTs or supraventricular tachycardias. And then we go over the, uh, the life-threatening arrhythmias, the ventricular fibrillation, the ventricular uh, tachycardia, the fine ventricular uh, fibrillation, uh, torsades du poids or polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. We look at uh, asystole, ventricular standstill, uh, electrical mechanical dissociation, or pulsus electrical activity. We also then go into P mitrali and P wave pulmonale. We then um, develop into sort of heart blocks and conduction issues. And we talk about the first degree uh, heart blocks, the second degree Mobitz type 1 or Wenkebeck heart block, second degree Mobitz type 2, and uh, third degree heart block or complete heart block. Uh, we talk about Wolf Parkinson White syndrome and how that presents itself. And uh, then we break into the second section, the ECG analysis. We look at uh, where to put the leads, where to put the limb leads, where to put the chest leads, what each lead on the ECG is, oh, sorry, which area of the heart uh, the ECG is looking at. Uh, depending on what lead you're looking at, okay? Uh, we talk about ischemia, we talk about T-wave depression, T-wave uh, uh, T-wave inversion, ST elevation, and then we move on to myocardial infarctions, both full thickness or transmural or subendocardial uh, myocardial infarctions. We uh, give a, a wide array, array of examples of, of myocardial infarctions. We talk about anterior, inferior, posterior, inferior lateral, anterior lateral um, MIs. We then move on to other conduction issues uh, presented on an ECG. We talk about left bundle branch block, right bundle branch block, and then we go into a section uh, on ventricular, um, ventricular pacing, atrial pacing, and dual chamber pacing. And that's a subject that I hope to uh, touch more on uh, with more depth in a, in, a, in a specific pacing resource which I'll bring out hopefully in the near future. Uh, we then go into axis deviations and uh, bifascicular block, trifascicular block and, and with that I, I, I break it up into two sections, an incomplete trifascicular block and a complete trifascicular block. Um, so look, the, the, the resource itself is really quite uh, extensive uh, but yet concise and easy to understand. Okay. Um, so where are you going to get it from? As I said, you're going to get it from my website, www.eadvancedhealthcare.com, and you'll click on the links there following in the ECG, ECG interpretation and rhythm recognition uh, page, and you'll be able to then select whether you want the ebook version or the paperback version. Okay. Um, so what is this going to cost? As I said, you can get it for free, but... Uh, you know, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to be part of the Amazon Prime network, that's fine. You can uh, you can purchase the ebook for a ridiculously low price, and really, I mean ridiculously low price. You won't find uh, this item or an item similar to this at a price lower. Currently on Amazon today, this is the lowest price of an ECG or rhythm recognition resource out there. Two ninety nine, two dollars ninety nine. That is less than a cup of coffee. So. Uh, I, Everyone can afford that. Why would you not? Why would you not purchase it? This is going to enhance you. This is going to enhance your practice. It's going to enhance your, your patient care. Why would you not do that? It, you know. Uh, the other format, as I said, is the paperback version, and that's available for $22. Again, the average price for an ECG and rhythm recognition um, book is around about $50, and you can get it today for $22. It's the cheapest around on the market today, hands down, without a doubt. And that is not to say that it's of any inferior quality, because it's not. It's comparable with all the other types of, uh, of resources out there. So um, that, that's pretty much it, really. And what happens if you don't get it? Well, you can not get it, that's fine. Um, your knowledge will be lacking. Your treatment opportunities for your patient will be lacking. Uh, others around you will have better 
um, knowledge and uh, exposure to the subject and uh, they're likely to succeed quicker than you will. Um, you're going to have an inability to provide the best possible patient care and, and treatment opportunities um, for you. As I've already mentioned, other people around you have a have some understanding of that, and I've worked with uh, a multitude of uh, allied health and also uh, medical professionals, ranging, you know, well from all uh, specialities and from all um, classifications, so the, the staff specialist or the consultant, ranging all the way down, and they all grasp some of this concept. And uh, unless you're a cardiologist, you you you, you don't have it as fluent. And, and this ebook and this this uh, paperback will give you that opportunity to get that fluidity and that understanding in your head that it will come as second nature to you. This is going to be a product that you are going to use time and time again until the process and the steps that I go through with you to analyze any ECG, any rhythm, are ingrained in your head that you can just go, I'm going to put that down now. That's served me well. I have got it. I get it, I get it, I understand, and I'm going to teach other people, I'm going to tell other people around me about this great resource, because I'm not just harping on, this is a great resource, this is going to use, this is something you're going to use time and time again. As I said, this costs less than a cup of coffee, so what do you have to lose? Look, thanks very much for watching, thank you for your time, and I hope that you uh, make the purchase, and tell all of your friends and colleagues about this resource. Uh, Thanks very much for watching and stay, stay tuned at uh, www.eadvancedhealthcare.com for more great resources to come soon. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching. Bye.